Hi, Brian Sachs here with another Mortgage Minute, and I want to ask you a question. Are all real estate agents the same? Which one should you choose? Well, I want to make a distinction for you that's really, really important for you to understand. There are two different types of real estate agents. There are seller agents, listing agents, if you will, and buyer's agents buyer representatives. And if you were selling your house, you know, obviously you want to have a seasoned, experienced, knowledgeable agent that you like uh, list your home for sale. But if you're buying a property, you have to make sure that you are working with a buyer's agent, an agent that represents your interest only. And the best news is it doesn't really cost you anything because the seller generally is the one paying the commission. So let me give you a scenario that, you know, you need to sort of think about. Let's say you've been pre-approved because number one, you should not be going out to look at homes ever until you're pre-approved for a mortgage and have that in place. But let's say it's a Sunday, you're driving along and you find an open house and the agent in there is just wonderful. She's very sweet. She's very nice. He or she, uh, they seem very interested in assisting you. And let's say this property is listed for $250,000. And you say to this agent, I, we want this house. We have to have it. We're in love. And we want to offer two forty. dollars But you know what? We'd even go up to 260, even above the asking price. Well, guess what? That agent legally, legally has to go back to the seller and say, do not take this contract. This buyer is willing to give you more money because they represent the seller and their job is to protect the seller's interest and make sure that seller gets the most money they can and the best terms for the property. When you're purchasing a home, you want to make sure that you have a buyer's agent. So you want to ask your real estate agent to represent you as a buyer's agent. Again, the seller pays the commission generally, but you need to have someone that's negotiating on your behalf, representing your interests, making sure you get a good deal and that all the terms are really skewed for you. So keep that in mind next time you're searching. You want to make sure you have a buyer's agent, not the agent that is representing the seller. You know, it's all too common. People drive down the street, they see the sign, they call the agent listed on the sign. Well, again, that agent works for the seller. You need you must have a buyer's agent. And if you need some referrals, certainly happy to provide them. And I'll be back next week with another Mortgage Minute.